Hey, Phyllis. Hey, Jim. What's up? Nothing. I just have a question for you. Sure, what is it? Well, a client called today and I was just about to make a huge sale when he asked me how many sheets of paper are in a ream. I had no idea. I thought I would ask you. Do you know? Well, I don't know the exact number, but I know how you can do math to solve it. Cool, well, can you explain to me how? Well, Jim, all you have to do is divide the volume of a ream by the volume of a sheet of paper. Oh, is that all? Well, I will try that. Thanks, Phyllis. Anytime, Jim. Well, first of all, I know that the volume of a single sheet of paper is 8.5 inches wide by 11 inches tall by 0 0.0038 inches in depth. The formula for volume is area of the base times the height, so I can calculate the volume by multiplying the three numbers together. I have figured out that the volume of a single sheet of paper is 0.3553 inches cubed. I measured the dimensions of a ream of paper and figured out that it is 8.5 inches wide by 11 inches tall by 1.9 inches in depth. I can use the same formula to calculate the volume of the ream of paper. I simply just have to multiply the dimensions together. Solving for volume is really easy. I used to not know that there was a formula for solving any volume so I used to be very confused when solving for it. The volume of a ream of paper is 117.65 inches cubed. When I simply divided the volume of the ream by the volume of the sheet of paper, I found out that there are 500 sheets of paper in a ream. I will call the client back with my answer. Hey Phyllis, I am back. Did you find your answer? Yes, I did. When the person called back he also wanted to know how much plastic is used to surround the ream of paper. Do you know how much? No I don't, but you can calculate the surface area to find out how much plastic is used. Wow Phyllis, I never thought of doing that. Yeah, all you have to do is multiply the area of the base times 2 and then add that to the perimeter of the base times the height of the ream. Thanks. You're welcome. The formula for surface area of a prism is the perimeter of the base times the height plus the area of the base times 2. This formula is very easy to get confused about. Because the base of the figure has to always stay the same. Due to the fact that prisms have multiple sides you can make any of them the base as long as you keep it the same. I am making the 8.5 inches by 11 inches side my base. So I know that the perimeter of the base is 39 inches, I know that the height is 1.9 and I know that the area of the base is 93.5 inches squared. When I used the order of operations to solve the problem I found out that 39 times 1.9 is 74.1 and I also found out that 93.5 times 2 is 187. When I add the two numbers together I get that the surface area is 261.1 inches squared, which is the exact amount of square inches of plastic covering it. I will call back the lady and tell her this information. I wonder why she needs to know this. Hey Jim. How is it going Stanley? Good. Are you meeting Dr. Mifflin's sales quota? Almost. I just need to make one more big sale, which reminds me. Are you good at math? I'm actually really bad. Why? Well, a client asked me a question that involves a lot of math and I was wondering if you could help me. If not, then I can just ask Phyllis again. I can try. What is it? The client is making a cylindrical sculpture using paper. She knows she wants to use 400 sheets of paper and she wants the sculpture to be 15 inches tall. How wide will it be? 
I think you would have to find the volume of 400 sheets of paper and then plug in that as the volume of the cylinder and 15 inches as the height. You can then solve for the height. Okay, I will try that. Thank you, Stanley. I know that the height of the figure is 15 inches tall. I know from earlier that the volume of a sheet of paper is 0.3553 inches cubed. If I multiply that number by 400, I get that the volume of 400 sheets of paper is 142.12 inches cubed. That number is also the volume of the cylindrical figure. The formula for volume of a cylinder is pi r squared times the height, so 142.12 is equal to pi r squared times 15. If I divide 142.12 by pi I will get that. r squared times 15 is approximately equal to 45.237 If I divide that number by 15 I will get that r squared is approximately equal to 3.016. If I solve for the square root I will get that the radius of the figure is approximately 1.737 inches. The client wanted to know how wide the figure is, which is the same thing as the diameter. The diameter is the same thing as the radius times 2, so the diameter of the figure is 3.473 inches. How was it going, Jim? Good. Thanks for the help with the math earlier. I just need one more favor. It's the last one. I promise. Fine. Go ahead. No guarantees that I can do it. I'm getting old, Jim. Okay, well, all I need to know is how to find the surface area of a cylinder. That client wants to cover her sculpture with four layers of paper mache. Okay, well, I think you just have to multiply the area of the base by two and then add that to the circumference times the height. So if she wants four layers then she will just multiply the ending result by four, right? Yeah. Thanks for all your help, Stanley. You're welcome, Jim. The one thing that I learned is that the formula for surface area is the same for both prisms and cylinders. The expanded formula is different though for a cylinder. The expanded formula for the surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r squared plus pi dh. If I plug in what I know, I get 2 pi times 1.737 squared plus pi 3.473 times 15. After I square 1.737 and multiply 3.473 times 15 I get 2 pi times 3.016 plus pi 52.099 is the surface area. After I multiply what is left to multiply, I get that the surface area is approximately 18.949 plus 163.673. Solving for surface area is so easy. Before learning this I used to manually find the areas of all the sides. Using a formula is easier. When I add the two numbers together I get that the surface area of the cylinder is approximately 182.623 inches squared. I had to pay attention and add not multiply. At this point if the client wanted to only cover the sides with paper mache then she would calculate the area of the base times 2. And subtract that from the overall surface area. The client wants to cover the figure with 4 layers so I multiplied 182.623 times 4 and got approximately 730.491 inches squared.